Most gardeners think of plant food as something bought, bottled fertilizers, expensive soil amendments, or nutrient-packed compost. But what if something you pour down the drain every day could rival all that? What if a cloudy liquid from rinsing rice held enough microbial power to transform your soil's health? That's exactly what this video explores. For 30 days, rice water was the only thing used to water a selection of vegetables and flowers. No compost, no fertilizer, just rice water collected from daily rinsing. The results weren't just noticeable, they were shocking. From faster seed germination to richer green leaves and explosive microbial growth, the change was visible not only above the soil, but within it. And the best part? Anyone can do this, right at home, with zero cost. If you're skeptical, good, you should be. But stick around because this experiment might just change how you treat both your plants and your kitchen waste forever. Rice water is simply the cloudy liquid left behind after rinsing uncooked rice. It may look like nothing more than starchy water, but honestly, it's loaded with microscopic nutrients, enzymes, and carbohydrates that act as a feast for soil microbes. When poured into garden beds or potted plants, it doesn't feed the plant directly. It feeds the life that supports the plant. That distinction is critical. Plants don't just need nutrients, they need microbial workers to unlock those nutrients. Rice water fuels those workers. It boosts bacterial colonies, encourages fungal hyphae, and helps hold moisture. Think of it like starter culture for a healthy living soil system. In this experiment, raised bed vegetables, mostly leafy greens and root crops, were selected for daily rice water treatment. Each day, the rinse from one batch of rice was collected and poured directly at the base of plants. No other watering or amendments were applied. Within the first week, subtle changes started appearing. Soil that had previously crusted over began holding moisture longer. Tiny fungal threads appeared just beneath the mulch layer. Leaf growth became noticeably more vigorous, with a sheen and lushness that outpaced control plants watered with tap water. By day 15 the root zones were visibly more alive. Earthworm activity increased dramatically and the soil smelled more like a forest floor than a lifeless bed. A quick DIY soil microbe test using molasses water confirmed a spike in microbial presence, especially bacteria. By day 30, flowering plants began to show deeper color and more buds. The lettuce stayed crisper in the midday sun, but the most surprising change? The compost pile adjacent to the rice water-treated bed began breaking down faster. Why? Because the runoff from those beds enriched even the surrounding soil biology. The answer is yes, with a few caveats. Rice water is a fantastic micro-booster, especially in soils that are dead, dry, or compacted. It doesn't replace balanced fertilization, but it primes the biological pump. Think of it as a microbial starter or prebiotic. It doesn't directly feed the plant with nitrogen or phosphorus, but it wakes up the soil's ability to do that job on its own. However, it works best when used fresh. Letting rice water sit too long in warm conditions can cause anaerobic fermentation, which might harm plant roots. It's best to use within 12 hours of rinsing, and while daily use in this experiment produced fast results, even two or three times per week is sufficient to see benefits over time. The simplest method is to collect the first or second rinse when washing uncooked rice. Avoid water from heavily boiled or salted rice, as that may contain too much starch or sodium. Use this rinse water immediately to water your garden beds, especially near the root zone. For larger areas, you can batch collect rice water in a container and store it in the fridge for up to two days. But remember, fresh is best. Applying it during cooler times of the day, morning or evening, will help microbes activate without rapid evaporation. And if you want to supercharge your rice water, well, just add a small spoon of unsulfured molasses to every liter. This actually turns it into a microbial tea that jumpstarts fungal and bacterial activity even more rapidly. 
With consistent use, rice water conditions the soil in subtle but powerful ways. First, it encourages the growth of beneficial bacteria and fungi, which are crucial for nutrient cycling. Second, it boosts the natural structure of the soil, helping it retain water and resist compaction. And third, it leads to more visible earthworm activity, a clear sign your underground ecosystem is thriving. Within a season gardeners often notice plants becoming more resistant to disease and drought. That's no accident. Healthier soil microbes mean stronger root systems and better access to nutrients. Rice water doesn't just feed the soil, it trains it to perform better over time. Avoid storing rice water for more than two days. Once it begins to ferment anaerobically, it can harm roots instead of helping. Also, don't pour too much in a single spot. Even natural starches can clog soil if concentrated in one area repeatedly. Never use rice water from salted or spiced rice. Seasonings like garlic or salt can damage soil biology. Stick to plain water from rinsing raw, uncooked rice only. Finally, remember, this is a soil enhancement, not a fertilizer. You still need compost, mulch, and organic amendments. Think of rice water as your soil's morning coffee, waking up the microbial workforce. It's easy to underestimate the value of something as ordinary as rice water. But in gardening, the simplest inputs often yield the most powerful results. Over 30 days, a garden once on the brink of decline bounced back with vigor. No commercial product required. Just patience, observation, and daily applications of what would have otherwise gone to waste. So if you're looking for a no-cost way to boost your soil's health, try this. Collect, pour, observe. It may take a week, it may take a month, but the changes will come. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to subscribe to Soil Doctor for more proven tricks, natural soil remedies, and microbial gardening wisdom. Share this video with a fellow gardener and let's get more people feeding their soil, one rice rinse at a time.